good morning good afternoon good day to everybody out there and welcome back to my youtube channel today is a very special comeback to me here because finally i would like to extend my warmest and my most excited thank you to everybody who subscribed because finally finally after after two years we've reached 100 subscribers 100 as in one oh oh okay maka next week one oh 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 na so help me guys help help me everybody so click the subscribe button below if you're new here or click also the notification bell so you can be like notified every time i have a new video here in my channel so guys i know We've been like staying home for a while. In my case here in UAE, we, we had three months of remote learning and it was challenging and, you know, at the same time, fun. So while I'm having my quarantine slash lockdown moments here, I've been like learning too many things from YouTube. I've been watching um, specifically videos about perfume reviews. So... Ayun, ang <laughs> dami kong natutunan. <laughs> Knowledge is power pala. Akala ko, pag perfume, yun na yun. Perfume, okay, we smell good. Yeah, we, we, we get some compliments. Yeah, we attract people. Smell us because we smell so good. But no, 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 no. Perfume is a craft. Perfume is a masterpiece. So, that is why knowledge is power pagdating sa mga perfume so guys i am here today because i'd like to share to you the top 10 perfume vocabulary so let's start with number one so number one would be notes so notes siya ha hindi siya do re mi pa so latido no <laughs> notes in perfume is the descriptors that you smell sa scent so the notes in perfume are divided into three parts so we've got the head notes okay or top notes also called as top notes then we've got the middle notes or also known as the heart notes and of course the last would be the base notes so usually the top notes usually talaga no hindi top notes is the scent that you can smell on the first impression so usually yung mga head notes is composed of three sometimes five notes and then the middle notes same thing sa kalagitnaan you'll be able to smell a different scent kala ko isa lang yan basta yun na yun but no okay so in the middle in a few seconds you're gonna smell a different notes again usually three to five notes and then lastly the base notes and that was the very important notes that usually you should take note because that's the important thing the dry down kasi yun yung magsistay sa skin natin tsaka yun din na magsistay sa clothes natin throughout the day or a couple of hours so you need to go and check out the base note or the dry notes more importantly that's what you're gonna need to take note let's move on to our number two okay so number two for me would be the longevity okay longevity means is how long would this perfume last on your skin or on your clothes? So, usually they say the longevity of a perfume varies from one person to another because as we all know, especially if you spray it on your skin, as we all know, we've got different body chemistry, chemistry so definitely the longevity of the perfume will vary. But for me, this is the second thing, for me lang ha, the second thing that I should or we should go and check out if we buy perfumes because we would like our perfumes to stay longer, okay, and to last longer because, of course, ayo naman natin maging mabaho all through the day, and right? And we we're like you know spending, spending for a perfume. So, well, at least it would last a little longer for us, okay, in our skin. So now let's move on to our vocabulary number three, and actually four, okay, because these two words are somehow like. Mm, okay, somewhat close and similarly, okay, or linked to each other. So these words are ciliage and projection. So these are actually two different terms, but more likely similar or linked to each other. So projection, guys, is when, for example, dumadaan ka sa office mo, tapos nasmel ka na agad ng mga tao. 
Yeah, so they will know, oh, si Lionela dumadating. <laughs> or ang teacher ko dumadating na, o, di ba? Because the projection is, is how far or how near a person can smell your scent. So for others, it would take like a meter or two, maaamoy ka na nila. But for others, not unless they'll sit beside you or they'll go beso beso to you, that's when they're gonna smell you. So, projection of the perfume that we're getting, that we're buying, is also very important for us to know because, of course, we want to leave an impression that we smell good, even by far, diba, sa mga kakilala natin sa office or sa school or sa parties. Now, silliage, on the other hand, is similarly to projection, but... Okay, this is when you leave a trail. That means to say, even if you're not physically there, the people can still like smell you. Okay, you're leaving your your trail behind. So sabi nga nila, ano yun? Ang bangun yun, ang bangun niya. Kasi, di ba? Dumaan lang siya, naamoy mo siya. Wala na siya, naamoy mo pa siya. Di ba? So, the silage power and the projection power of your perfume is also one thing that we need to take into consideration when we get and buy a perfume. So, some perfume reviewers would all, not actually some, most, all of the perfume reviewers will be talking about these things when they do perfume review and you know knowledge is power if we get to know first the reviews of our of the perfume that we'd like to buy well mas madali tayong pumili now, let's move on to fifth sixth and seventh term now this is the tricky one because hindi ko kayang talagang big kasi siya but i'll try my best first one is the edc Next would be the EDT, and then the next one would be the EDP. So these things you should know when you go buy your perfume. The EDC is what we call the ED cologne. So ED cologne got the lowest percentage of oil to alcohol ratio, about five to two to five percent, something like that. Okay, and it's usually the fresh, fresh and lang type of of scent. Okay. Usually, if you use cologne, it would like put an impression of youthfulness. So that's why, kung mga baby, kung mga high school, mga teenagers, pa cologne cologne lang muna. Okay, di ba? Because again, it gives an impression of freshness, youthfulness, because it has the lowest ratio of oil to alcohol. So as I was saying, the no. toilet, okay, is a type of of, of perfume that can last about four hours okay two to four hours now this perfume is also uh, is associated for daily daily wear okay and if you're just looking for a daily wear or a work type of a perfume then you go for any toilet now the third one type of perfume would be the edi edi perfume so edi perfume is like the, the type of perfume that got the highest um, perfume oil to alcohol ratio base which is about like maybe from 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 12 from 8 to 15 percent something like that so talagang matapang siya in a sense and this is usually associated for you or for you to wear on night time actually there are other several types of perfume pa but usually these are the common perfumes that we see in the market okay so you need to go and check out what do you want okay now let's move on to our eighth eighth term our eighth term would be the automizer automizer guys is like the sprinter of your perfume now this is also one thing that you should look into when you buy perfume or when you go watch perfume reviews because the automizer plays an important role for you in the application of your perfume okay Guys, alam mo ba, akala ko, pag maglagay ng perfume, pak, pak, irarab mo, ilalagay mo dito, tapos. Or, pak, 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 tapos. But actually, it's not. When you apply perfume, meron pa iba, di ba? Pak, and then they go like that. Di ba? Ang daming mga weirdness on application of perfume. Once I went to uh, a perfume shop, the sales agent taught me to spray it like, like that. Why? May, why pala why? Ganyan, why? Meron din naman pa-X. 
meron din naman about parang gusto nyo pang i-measure ang distance ng pag-spray mo. See? That's the power of your automizer. You should know the power of your automizer, the sprinter. Okay? Sprinter ba? No, no, no. The spatter of the liquid in you. Because that's where the particles, particles ba? The molecules, molecules ba? Of the perfume ang maglalang siya sa skin mo. So, if the automizer is chaka and pangit, oh my, you will not be able to maximize the juice spattering on your skin. But, if your automizer is good, then of course, it will give you uh, the, the nice spatter that would maximize the juice in your skin. For example, I have here an example of perfume. Okay, this is far away, of course, as you all know, idol ko si Hot. So talagang, when I went home last December, bumuli talaga ako ng ganito sa Avon para maging kaamoy ko si Hot. So, this is the automizer. If you spray it, see? Shk! That's the power of the automizer and it's important. Okay? Next, we move now to the ninth vocabulary. The ninth vocabulary would be the families, the fragrance families now. I'll make this short because I would like to make a separate video on this, hopefully. <laughs> but there are four major families of fragrance. So you should know this so that when you go and buy perfume, you'd not have a hard time searching for the best perfume for you. So there are actually four types of fragrance family. We've got the floral, we've got woody, we've got the fresh, and we've got the oriental. So or those are the four major family, fragrance family, but within it, may mga sub-families pa din. May anak-anak sila. So we'll get to talk about that some other time. Now we go down to our last vocabulary, which is signature scent. Actually, as they say, it's not important for you to get or to have a signature scent. Okay, because if you can afford to have several scent, why not? Because diba, we do different activities, we attend different um, events in our lives, so might as well have around three to five or more fragrance with you so you can you know vary your your the scent that you'll be using. But you can also have your own signature scent. That means to say this is the scent that that would identify your personality that would identify that that they could like identify this as you okay so if you're a fierce type of individual go and check out yung mga beast mode na mga perfume but if you're like a sweetie sweetie type of a girl go ahead and get a signature scent which are sweet type or German type of perfume and if you're like the sexy type of a girl go and get the sexy perfumes <laughs> or if you're just like the chill chill relax type of a girl why not make the aquatic fresh type of perfume as your signature scent so guys okay as I end this video I'd like you to go and comment down in the comment section what's your signature scent or you want me to go and make a review of a specific perfume go and comment down below and tell me also what's your favorite perfume so we can like talk about it in our next video and yeah let's have fun let's talk because i want so yeah fun. guys i hope you enjoyed the video stay funny and fab till next time everybody till next time bye blah 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 till next time Mwah.